Southern dividend payments have been distributed, but the debate over the dividend amount is hardly over. Today, a protest in Midtown in support of a nearly $3,000 dividend, almost double the amount that hit many Alaskans' bank accounts. What we're looking for is a constitutional amendment that enshrines the PFD and ensures the people's 50-50 split with the, uh, of the resource with the government. Protesters are calling legislators to restore the full dividend. This would require lawmakers to take part in a third special session. And while some support the larger dollar amount, others have been steadfast in their beliefs that an additional dividend would be unsustainable. And that demonstration in response to a PFD working group meeting at the Anchorage Legislative Information Office this afternoon. Lawmakers left grappling with some very unfriendly math as a bigger dividend needs less money to dedicate to government operations and the possibility of persistent deficits. Still, some in the legislature, such as Governor Mike Dunleavy, maintain that the answer is to cut spending in order to make a full PFD possible. And we are told the working group will likely prepare a white paper with a few different scenarios, and in the meantime, the governor has asked for a special session to debate paying the rest of the PFD. In Alaska reach a compromise in one of our most divisive debates, the calculation of the permanent fund dividend as KTVA 11's Daniela Rivera reports, there was talk about compromise at Anchorage's Legislative Information Office today. There was also a protest. Daniela. Well, that's right. Today, the legislature's permanent fund working group met to discuss different possible scenarios for the fund and the future of the dividend. No big decisions were made at today's meeting. It was more about looking at the options and sharing that information with the public. One side wants the full PFD using the calculation in statute, something Alaskans haven't seen for the last four years. The other side wants to change the formula. And somewhere in the middle, lawmakers we spoke with believe there is a compromise. Senator Shelley Hughes, who has supported the historical calculation, says she's now willing to accept a smaller draw to preserve the fund as long as at least 50 percent of it goes to Alaskans. We'll see if anybody else comes off their high horse in the other camp and we might get to see some movement if, if that happens. If no one else is willing to step out, um, you know, then we'll see what happens. Now, as the meeting was underway, as you can see there, protesters started to gather outside. The group is called Permanent Fund Defenders. Members are protesting cuts to the PFD over the last four years, and they say they're against any change to the PFD formula without a public vote. We need to take more control of our government. Right now, there's 60 people making decisions for 700,000 people, and, it, and it, it's not the way it was intended to be. We're, our, our Constitution says by the people and for the people. By the people means you show up and you tell them that you're not happy with what they're doing, and that's what we're trying to do right now. Last week, Alaskans started receiving a $1,600 dividend payment under the statutory calculation that would have been around $2,900. Governor Dunleavy said that he wanted to uh, provide a supplemental payment through a special session, but with each day that goes by, we're approaching the holidays, that is seeming less likely to happen. Right. Hello, everybody. We are back live in Anchorage here at the uh, Anchorage PFD bicameral group day. They are with us. Huge showing. The law breaking legislators inside decided to call it a very, very short meeting. They had it less than two hours to discuss the future of the PFD. Their idea of protecting our PFD was to take it, spend it on themselves, cap the dollar amount that they want to give us, and say, See you suckers. This is what you get because we can't control our spending. Every model that they showed us today showed their budget growing. But not once did they show a single model of them reducing the budget to match what their revenues coming in is. Welcome. Come on down and join us. We'll be here from 2 to o'clock today. We're at the Anchorage LIO, 1500 West Benson Boulevard. Good morning. How are you? Good. You know, if you think about it, the average family of four lost over five thousand. You want to be on? Uh, you want to be on camera? Sure. The average family of four lost over five thousand dollars in taxes, and yet the budget cut after Dunleavy. Yeah, the sunlight all, there. <laughs> after Dunleavy gave uh, gave everything back, or as much back as he did, was less than a six percent cut so far 
less than six percent disproportionately a family of four had to pay five grand So basically, we, we've just lost our uh, $5,000 for a family of four because of the cuts that they've done to us so here. Six percent or less cuts to the budget. It's ridiculous. So how, how do we solve that? We solve that by this, by people coming down and getting active with their legislature, coming down and demanding that we be heard. Right now, we're the path of least resistance. They think they can do whatever we want because, I mean, shoot, this is a good, good turnout, but we need thousands of people down here right now. You know, we need to fix the government. We need to fix their idea of what um, they should do for us. They work for us. We need to demand that they do what we want them to do. And they clearly have forgotten they work for us. They clearly have forgotten. 60 people making the decisions for 700,000 plus of us right Amen now. To Amen to that. And uh, the only ones they care to listen to is themselves and the special interest they're giving that budget to. That's correct. Uh, yep. Really, really sad. It's a shame that they, they already broke because they knew we were going to be here. So if 50 people can cause them to end their meeting early, think of what 1,000 people could do or 2,000 people standing in this parking lot. They need to hear us. We need to start making that happen. We More need people to, need to get involved. Absolutely, and it's not just the PFD. The PFD is just a battle. This is a war for our state. We need to take control of our legislature. They need to understand that they work for us. This is just a battle in a bigger war that we need to... Uh, be engaged in. We need to get engaged in government reform. We need to. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you.